Ooh, ooh, herbal. That is smoky. Then you have got... Hello you lovely lot, I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. I am fresh out the shower, just scrunching me hair. Um, but today we are going to open up the Fresh and Flowers box with the first one for 2024. I'm just looking here, it's got the cute little Lunar New Year dragon on and without realising, my nails match. Um, so the Lunar New Year range has launched within Lush. I'm gonna just do like a little micro video on that because it's just a small collection but the products are lovely. Um, so yeah, let's just open up and see what we get. <gasps> That's so pretty. Oh my God, look. Look. I'll show you the card in a second. Okay, you may hear banging, clanging and grinding. Uh, we're getting our radio put, radiator put back on our in our kitchen, so I apologise if there's any loud bangs. But here is a super sweet little card, which I absolutely love. It is gorgeous. I love the artwork for this range. So this literally came yesterday whilst I was at work. So I'm just going to open this up. Uh, put that there. Oh, ooh. oh, wow. Wow. Okay, this is cool. I don't think I've ever seen, like, oh God, I don't think I've ever seen, like, bamboo, like, like that thick in, in person. That is so cool. So it says, fresh year of the dragon box. New year is a special time of year in Japanese culture. All the family gathers and celebrates, wishing the best fresh year ahead. It always involves traditional cuisine, decorations and traditions which have been passed down since at least the mid-6th century. The Fresh Year of the Dragon Box is inspired by those traditions and is designed to inspire you to be your bold, authentic self for the Year of the Dragon. Alongside all the Japanese ingredients featured in this box, Amazaki, a sweet non-alcoholic sake, is one of the key ingredients full of vitamin B and helps to retain moisture in the skin. Now there is a QR code which I'll put at the end for people to scan. But the first thing I'm gonna pull out is this huge floral bit here. So you've got bamboo, you've got some little daffodils, um, you've got some sort of spruce maybe, but that's really cool. I love the bamboo. I wonder what we're supposed to do with that. That makes a nice noise. So let's grab the first thing. The first thing that's catching my eye is this adorable, what, mm, adorable little soap. Yeah, with a little dragon, gilded dragon on. It smells like what's up duck, so very like strawberry jelly scented. It's beautiful. I don't know because it's got this little dint in the middle if we're supposed to do something with that, but that smells incredible. We have got a really sweet little bath bomb which is red on the back. And then you've got these herbs or leaves in here. Oh, that is smoky. Mm, that's lovely. Is it a bit like red beard? It's just got this really fiery, smoky scent to it, which again, fiery and smoky makes sense for like the year of the dragon. That smells absolutely gorgeous. Pop that down. We've got this little lump, <laughs> uh, which I'm going to assume is a cleanser of some sort. Ooh, it smells like really orangey. I'm going to do like a full like try on video um, in a separate one because I'm just recording this before I go to work. This smells really, really fruity, citrusy, <sighs> almost, it's not turmeric. We've had a similar product. Uh, so obviously I'll check the sheet, but we've had something similar, but it smells a bit like orange custard cream. So is it like Mr. Pumpkin face scented? No, but it smells really good. We've got a little metal tin. Oh, it's incense. We've got another incense. Oh my God, yes. Before lighting, pop one incense to the side and save for another time. Oh, so we've got more than one. Lovely. Place the tin on a heat proof surface, sit the other incense in the sand, Either way is fine and light with matches or a lighter. Please don't leave unattended and keep out the reach of pet, 
keep out the reach of pets and children. So let's see how many incense did we get? Because I love the incense that we got in the the golden the golden box that we got last year, but like one just didn't feel enough. Oh, we got two. Lovely. Oh, they're green. Ooh, okay. So we've got two incense. Ooh. It's very kind of creamy and sweet. It's very interesting. I'm trying to think what it could be. We'll have to have a look at the ingredients, but we've got, I'll just show you here. One, two, like so. Do, do, do. Oops, great job there by me. That's lovely. It's almost kind of like a little bit piney. I can't quite put my, my finger on it. Oh, I hate that sound of, of like the sand gritting on the uh, on the metal. Oh, okay, we'll put that there. Then we've got a face mask. Now I'm I'm probably gonna butcher this, but it says this is what it looks like. So I'll let you read it first. Nanakusa. Uh, so it's Nana. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce it. Nanakusu Gayu. Celebrate the year of the dragon with seven herbs. Right with a seven herbs rice porridge. Ooh, with firming and brightening parsley, hydrating daikon, and vitamin B rich Amazaki rice. Ooh, 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 let's have a look. Ooh, herbal, but also it smells boozy. It, like it's, you can smell the sake in it. So I'll let you have a little look. It kind of smells like a really tasty pudding, but then you get like, is it, did he say it was alcohol free? Yeah, so it's a non-alcoholic sake, but it really smells like sake. It's very, like I say, sweet and, mm, I mean, it's made me mouth water. So you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. And it's got kaolin, glycerin, brown rice amazake, shepherd's purse, mm, which is daisy flower and chickweed decoction. I like the name of that. Then you've got daikon radish, soya flour, fresh parsley, Turnip, oh that's so cool. Rice bran absolute, lime oil, benzoin resinoid, carob resinoid. So it's so lovely to be able to have um, some unusual, I don't think I've ever had a beauty product with turnip in and I would love to know what turnip does to the skin. But that's really cool. And then last but not least, we have got something that looks really, really cool. These are the iPads. These are the iPads. Oh, these are adorable. You've got little tiny clouds. They kind of remind me of the um, Akatsuki uh, clouds <laughs> in Naruto. Um, they don't really have a smell, but they're lovely and they'd be lovely under your eyes. Right, this is such a lovely box. So the first thing we have is this cute little card. This is an Omamori. O o Oma Oma Mori, um, and it says, God, it's so hard to read, black on red. This is an amulet that will give you luck, protection, and well wishes. You can carry it on your person to assist you through the year. Then you have Lush Shogatsu Kazari. Um, it's a bath bundle slash flower posy made with fur for longevity, bamboo cane for its prosperity, and narcissus for self love and joy, and also translates to wizard of the waters don't unwrap just place in the bath and let the botanicals infuse or use in a vase i think or a vase if you're english i think i might put this in a vase you know it's stunning i love that we have got the oh okay oh that's so cute so we've got the kagami mochi mandarin cleansing orange Amazaki brown rice will help you help Amazaki brown rice will help make your skin smooth and soft while the rice milk is hydrating and the milky ground almonds gently buff. Take a pinch, add a little water and make into a paste. Then massage over your face before gently washing away. I like to double cleanse with this, so repeat if you like. So it's got ground almonds in it, kaolin, glycerin, brown rice, amazaki, ground white rice, fresh mandarin, organic rice milk, grapefruit oil. Litsy Kabeba oil, yuzu oil, cornstarch, titanium dioxide, paprika or laurelorosin, synthetic flora flora guide, uh, tin oxide. That smells really yummy and cakey. And I like how it's like a mochi. Do you like mochi? I am so 
funny about mochi and whether or not I like the texture. Um, I've had like the, like the, I haven't had little moons, but I've had like similar sort of ice cream mochi and I don't mind that because obviously it's got something a bit firmer inside, but yeah, let me know. Do you like mochi or not? Because I'm just a bit unsure. Then you've got Dragon's Clouds eye pads. So this is these here. Asian dragons are often seen in the clouds. Enjoy our pads made with hydrating rice milk and softening aloe vera. Take from the fridge and then place over or under each eye and relax for 10 minutes or while you're wearing a mask. Use only one. So you've got organic rice milk, glycerin, fresh aloe gel, carrageen extract, kaolin, titanium dioxide. These be perfect under your eyes because of the length. So I'm definitely going to be putting them underneath my eyes. Then you've got the incense. And this is called Yuki Suri. Uh, where have I put my incense? There we go. Yuki Suri incense. Uh, this fragrance may note is fresh pine. See, I'm sure I said I smelt pine. Um, it is woody, balsamic, and green, thanks to frankincense, olibanum, and pine oil. It is a very rich herbal and slightly spicy pod created with cedar wood and lavender. Basil and tarragon are also add a warm, sweet herbal aroma to the scent. Why aren't they bringing out incense? Like, I feel like these are lovely. Like, please bring out incense. Because the other one was gorgeous. Uh, so you've got tra tragacanth gum, uh, cedar wood powder, uh, olibanum gum powder, lavender powder, pine needle powder, dried, dried tarragon, dried basil, colophony resin powder, lavender oil, pine oil, I, I cannot read black on red, basil oil and celery seed oil. Then you've got Toso, uh, which is an Ipiku bath bomb. We created this exclusively for, for Japan, but I've borrowed this for our box. Add your bath bomb to your bath and relax in the colors and the season, uh, relax in the colors of the season and its sweet scent. So you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, uh, sanchal pepper, uh, you've got cinnamon leaf oil, cardamom oil, pink pepper oil, almond essential oil, sake leaves, uh, titanium dioxide cornstarch. I love that black pepper smell. Oh, sorry, pink pepper smell. That is, it's sweet and spicy and yummy. I love it. Then you have got Year of the Dragon Soap. Design, the design for this soap was created by the Japanese design team. A rice bran uh, dragon soap with softening Amazaki rice for small moisturising bubbles. Perfect for washing your hands and body with a foodie sweet scent. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like What's Up Doc, in my opinion. So I'd love to know what you say. Um, you've got water, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, glycerin, propylene glycol, brown rice amazaki, rice bran oil, rice bran absolute, lime oil, benzoin resinoid, carob resinoid, uh, sodium chloride, citric acid, titanium dioxide. Yeah, it smells really yummy and it's stunning. I'm really surprised that they didn't bring out a really, like, you know, a soap to sell for Lunar New Year because it's just gorgeous. Mm. And then the last thing is the face mask inspired by Nanakusa Gayo. I'm so sorry, uh, which translates to seven herbs rice porridge and is a type of okayu or rice porridge that consists of seven herbs uh, made with firming and brightening parsley, hydrating daikon and softening amazaki rice. Apply it to the face with a brush if you like and relax for 10 to 15 minutes. This smells so alcohol -y, even though there's no alcohol in it. But that is everything in the box. I am so excited to light the incense. So we'll do that um, when I try everything on. Um, this is just a really stunning box. It's beautiful. Um, I can't wait to try everything. And I would love to know what you think of the box down below. Do you wish you got it? I like how there's technically gonna be like two Lunar New Year boxes because the February Kitchen box is very Lunar New Year. Um, so lots of red and gold, which is just lovely. Um, would you put the flower thing with the bamboo in the bath or would you put it in a vase? I'm thinking a vase because it's just so pretty. 
and it'd be quite nice to display. But yes, let me know what you think down below. If you liked this video, you can give it a little thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 4,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at 4,000. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on social media here and YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. I hope you've been enjoying all the videos I've been posting. And there is a couple of throwback videos that I forgot to post last year that I'm gonna post this year. But other than that, it's all fresh stuff. So yes, I will see you next video.